What's going on everybody and welcome back to Exploring Attractions. My name is Scott and, I'm Savannah. and we're here. Where are we at today? We're at Gatorland. We are here to see a whole bunch of alligators, a whole bunch of different other animals and whatnot. I've never been to this place. I've always wanted to come to this place all the time it's going to Florida. So I'm excited. So basically, the um, best way to describe it is a, a gator themed zoo. But they have other animals along the way. So we're here. Don't know what... Oh, this is still Orlando technically. but. We're excited, we're going to go see everything they have to offer inside. If you're new here, subscribe with the bell notifications on. YouTube also updated a new feature where you can actually leave a super thanks comment. So if you're interested in that, make sure to check that out down below. But yeah, let's go get inside Gatorland and have ourselves a great day. Of course, right outside the park entrance, they got the famous Gatorland Orlando, Florida Gator Mouse. Perfect for a photo opportunity sitting right out here. It looks like it's got a fresh coat of paint or the paint just doesn't fade at all made it inside gave us a map here and they have tons of like add-ons to do like you can feed a gator either have, there's a zip line there's a train that goes around the property but we just got the basic package maybe if we walk around and we look at all the different experience we may add something on but as of right now we're just gonna go enjoy the the whole park right off the bat as soon as you're walking you see a bunch of these little baby gators over here and this is deemed as the alligator capital of the world I hopefully so because there's a whole bunch on the dock over there. It looks like they have something called, you can teach a gator how to jump. So you can hold, it looks like fish over and they jump up. Oh my God, look at them all move. They like look cute, but like they're not because they're deadly. <laughs> that feeding experience I was talking about, it's called the Junior Jumperoo Feeding Experience. It's $5 for three fish, $20 for how many fish is that? Is that 20 fish? Four times five, yeah. Yeah, 20 fish, $20 for 20 fish. That's a good deal. And that is for the two to four year old gators over here that we just looked at. And they have little signs like showing where the different age groups are at. Like these are all the three to five year olds. All just laying here, sunbathing. It's funny to see all of them like walk all over each other. And then all the ones in the water. Just with their eyes poking out of the water. Now they do have like this big giant swamp where you can see a whole bunch of big gators. They're a lot harder to see because they're hiding just like they do in the wild. But like there's a big one that just went underneath us. You can't really pick them up on camera. They also have baby ones out there too. But the big ones are terrifying to look at up close. Because we see them at zoos all the time. But just behind the glass. Not as close as you can here. They have a nice little stage set up out here for the Jumperoo show. I'm sure that's exactly what it entails as we saw a little bit earlier on. Where they're making the little gators jump instead of with the big ones. That starts at 12.30, so in about 30 minutes or so, we'll come back over here. Okay, Savannah, I'll give you one gator pet if you go run over there. What do you say? I'd do it. It, it won't be, like, I can't promise it'll be a, a friendly gator, but, you know, I guess we'll just have to figure it out. They have a massive python over here in the viewing tanks. And, you know, snakes are one of my biggest fears, so I don't know how I'm staring right at this but they're cool to look at we found a little baby gator tank and these are fresh babies baby gators and crocodiles this is they have in here too but look at this albino gator i believe they do have a large as one of these i think i saw that in one of their like posters so hopefully we get to see the large one a little bit later on the iguana way up there in the tree he's got some cool colors it's amazing how he's keeping his balance up there so there's one named baloo and there's one named brutus but there's four in here, so I'm not too sure how to tell the difference between all four of them. But that one's my favorite up there since he's all colorful. Or at least his little spikes are colorful. They also do have a tortoise area. They got two giant tortoises. Oh, look, he's turning towards me. And he just winked. That's cool. Anyways, you can go in here for $5 and actually pet the tortoise's, tortoise's shell. And then for $10, you get feeding with it. So I'm sure you just feed them plants and they slowly eat it out of your hands. So there's two of them. This one's just chilling in the water right now, living his life. Now walking around and everything, I can really tell how big this place actually is. It's obviously not massive like any normal zoo, but it is pretty large. It was $32 after tax to get in here for adults. So I think we paid like 65 in total after tax and everything. And then like I said, you can't add on a whole bunch of stuff like the Stomping Gator Adventure. You can do a nighttime experience, Gator Nightshine. Um, you can also, what we were hearing from outside, pay $12 to feed the big guys. So yeah, lots of stuff to do here. We still have lots of stuff to see. But right now, no complaints. I gotta say, I'm thoroughly enjoying my visit here already. So yeah, um, let's 
go see what we can discover next. And I will say aside from the gators themselves, there's plenty of different photo opportunities to pose like in front of this fence, but it's still a cool design. There's plenty of statues and whatnot. So if you want to capture your memory here, plenty of places to do so. There's a little owl back here in the back side of the park. This is the first time I think I've ever seen an owl active, like, or at least this active. Usually all other zoos are sleeping, but he's active. He's kind of just cleaning himself. Look up little dude. I want to see your beautiful face. Now he's, oh, there he is. Look at him. Oh my goodness, he's scratching. Look how big those claws are though. Can't imagine that thing landing on your arm. Back here is where you can get on the Screaming Gator zip line. Voted top 10 zip line in the world. It's a pretty tall tower right behind. And then to the right is where you can get on that Stomping Gator adventure buggy. I just asked one of the employees inside the gift store where they actually sell the Gatorland Stomping Gator off-road adventure. Asked how long it was. It's a 15 minute tour. Um, it's $15. All their different tours aren't very like extremely high in prices. Like they're affordable, but I'd ask more information about them before doing them. On top of the tours, you can also pay for these cool photos. They're gonna put a gator on these kids and they're gonna put a snake around one of them, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Oh man, that's a big gator. And then that snake around her neck is the one that she's gonna put on their neck. And then they'll get a photo. Would you be brave enough to put a snake around your neck for a picture? Yes. Really? I feel like you would say no. I feel like you'd be more, cause didn't you? Before I was a kid. What, like at a fair or something? Uh, at my dad's work. <laughs> I don't know, I'd be kind of terrified if I had a snake around. I'd be fine with a gator since it's a tiny one, but a snake? I'd be more fine with a snake than a baby gator. See, behind me, I have two of the bravest or dumbest guys I can find to compete for a job. Are you guys ready to meet them? Yeah. Not bad, not bad, we'll work on that. Now look, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. For the last seven years, these alligators have been trained to jump to the sound of your noise. So, the louder you guys are, the higher these alligators are gonna jump. So I'm gonna ask you guys again, are y'all ready to meet these two guys? On my left hand side from the city of St. Cloud, give it up for Barbara! Now on my right hand side from the city of St. Cloud as well, give it up for Kuda! Alright folks, come on in, bring it in boys, bring it in. Ladies, I'm single! What are you doing, man? Now look, guys, I had a chance to go over your guys' application today and I seen some weird stuff on there. Now, first you said you guys wanted to be gator handlers, which is fine. Then you know you were brothers, and right below that you said you were twins. Well, no, you, you guys are not identical twins. No. Cooter, do you even know what the word identical means? Well, yeah, man. It means we can date the same girl and she ain't ever find out. Oh. She definitely find out. No. But... Come on, guys. Wait, come on. Keep the noise up. Yeah, jump. No, no. These alligators will not jump. If you guys aren't loud enough, you gotta keep the noise up. We got, a, we got about five, six, seven alligators here on Cooter's side. You guys aren't being loud enough. You gotta yell, bro. Yell, man. Let me see, wake them up, yo, jump! We got three alligators there under the dock. You guys are not loud enough. So these alligators are not interested. You gotta make some noise. Who's shot? I'm on the other side, but see, you guys are letting them down. These are the larger, the larger pieces of chicken that these alligators have been waiting for. They will jump high. If you guys are loud enough, these alligators will jump up as high as that orange railing. There you go, and Kuda's got all of the alligators on his side. Make some noise! There you go, yo, jump, yo, go, yo, manage! And Bubba's, Bubba, they're stealing your chicken, Bubba. Bubba, you got a bird stealing your chicken. And that piece is down, so Bubba lost one piece. Since they didn't have a whole lot of success during the show, and the gators didn't seem to be hungry, they're doing a little encore right now. Yeah, Bubba over here chasing the birds off since one of the birds stole a piece of chicken when they were trying to feed the gators. Oh yeah, a place that Savannah and I both love. A walkway full of different birds. Look at this guy, he's right here in the breezeway, just relaxing in the shade. His little feathers are blowing. These are some real pretty colors too. Oh now he's taking a nap. Got another one of these blue and gold McCalls over here. He's got a little bit of green on his head though. Looks like he's sleep talking or something. Of course, the one thing I was just talking about being deathly afraid of, they have a whole entire exhibit for. And right here are those albino, albino alligators that I was talking about earlier. We saw the baby one. The one baby one, but it looks like they got two massive ones. Definitely not as big as the ones in the swamp. I wonder if this is how big they get. But they don't even look real. 
Like they look a little bit yellow. Like Savannah told me right now, they look like just stone. I, I want to see them move. That'd be cool. Or see them swim around. This is probably like one of the coolest animals I've seen. That was an albino alligator. They have a nice little setup for a, a petting zoo out here. So you had to pay for the fee, but you can come up and pet them. Hey, little guy. How you doing? The goats are always so much fun just to come and pet any zoo. This Savannah got some food in there. They're chasing. Oh my goodness! Oh. Wow. Okay, you gotta feed it out of your hand now. All right, make sure to feed it them out of hand. Oh, okay, okay. You get the the first person POV. Oh my goodness, there they go. Look at them. This is the most active goat feeding that we've ever had, I think, at any place. Yeah, they can eat the cone, by the way. That's what the uh, team member said, that they can eat the cone. Oh, he's like choking. <laughs> Dude, you're eating too fast. Come on. Don't, don't eat so fast. I don't want him to fall. Hey, dude. Look, I like this you're one. You're eating a little bit too fast. Oh my god, that is a very cute one. He's a, he's a little brown one. Oh, oh my god. My god. <laughs> he, he took a bite out of the cone. And the blueprint of this place just keeps on going. Like I said, this is a lot bigger of a park than I thought it was. 110 acres, I think, is the exact amount. Just to get a general understanding of how big this place is, they have like an observation deck where you can see the entire park from up above. Like, look at this sight line. You can definitely sit up here and watch all the different gators in the swamp. Came up to the very top of when you can see this is one of the zipline spots because it's multiple ziplines throughout the whole uh, park. Now, an interesting kind of scary thing about this is this is one of the ziplines that goes all the way down. That little gate right there is if, just in case anything were to go wrong, if you fall, you're gonna fall where there's no gators at. Would still be terrifying, but I thought that was that was an interesting ad. Came back down to ground level and down here on the little boardwalk section is where you can really see up close and personal with these gators because in this uh swamp or lagoon there are i'm sure there's over a dozen like way more you got one just chilling right here hello gator friend gotta say those birds over there the gret the bird right here and the ducks over there are, are very very brave being next to this massive gator but doesn't look like he's moved in like the recent hour or so. Here's a better look at the, the height of the observation tile that we we're just standing above. Also, I wanna know when we're up there with the wind and everything, you can feel it shake, which is kind of cool. Kind of terrifying because if that thing breaks, then you obviously you'll fall right into this big body of water with all the gators. But still a really neat experience up there. Uh, getting to look at everything and getting to look at the size of this place. One thing that I like about Gatorland is to have notes that have plenty of covered seating and food and beverage options. Like they got pearls over here in the very far corner of the park. Just plenty of stuff, like plenty of staff everywhere for food places, gift stores, and everything. I really enjoy that. There's a whole other big white alligator exhibit over here with not lots of people over here since it's in the far corner compared to the two that we saw in the tank. I don't know if you guys can see him, but he's way back there chilling with the other gators. He's not as big as the other ones that we saw, but he is as white as the other ones, or as albino. When we were in San Antonio, there's a like parakeet aviary, and it was closed, but now there's one here, so we're about to step foot inside a parakeet aviary. Hello, little parakeet man. Are you enjoying this? Also, these little sticks are $2 each, or three for five. Look how cute he looks, though. Hey, yeah, little guy, you enjoying that, huh? He's so soft. Look at him go. There was one that I had on him before, he was yellow. And then the blue one came by and kicked him right off. Now there are a whole bunch in here, so they make sure to tell everyone to shuffle instead of lifting your feet up. That way you don't step on any of the parakeets walking around on the floor. Like Savannah was like held the, uh, the stick down on the floor and she had a whole bunch attacking them. And there's a whole bunch of people who are just like putting the sticks on the floor the parakeets to walk around. That's why I scooped mine and came to 
my own little secluded corner. You do get a hefty amount of speed in here. Like these little guys aren't gonna go through this pretty fast. They can chill in here for the whole duration because they do it by time period. So like Savannah's got a whole bunch still left over and then you can come over here and, and scoop them. Let's see if we can scoop one right now. Come here, little one. Come here. Oh yeah, there we go. Because they're all hungry. You just gotta be kind with them. I guess it helps over bird people at home, so. Well, as we head out, we get one last look at all the teenager gators. You can really tell how much they're all piled up right here. I mean, it's hot in Florida. Like, do they like the warmth? Is that why they're all piled up? Because I assume being at the bottom of that pile was not very uh, cool. Would you call this a gator pile, not a dog pile? You like that joke? That's no. pretty funny, huh? <laughs> but they're all in the shade. They are all in the shade though, that's true. With one bird guarding them. Oh, wow. And of course, you gotta end with a gift shop here at Gatorland as you make your way out. See you later, alligator, as we head into the Gatorland themed gift shop. This is a pretty large gift shop. There's tons of stuff in here, including merch, toys, all that fun stuff. All right, y'all, well, we had a great time here at Gatorland in Orlando, Florida. Such a fun, cool place. A lot more than we expected. Now, I know what you're gonna say. You're gonna say parakeets, but other than parakeets, what was your favorite thing here? Mm -hmm. The albino gators. Mm -hmm. I, the for views. me, yeah, I was gonna say for <laughs> me, I was literally gonna say the observation tower yeah. thing was the coolest thing here. I definitely recommend the thirty dollars a ticket, and there's so much extra stuff that you can yeah. do inside in at an affordable price. So definitely recommend coming in and checking this out. Anyways, everybody, my name is Scott. And I'm Savannah. And we have been exploring <laughs> attractions, positivity is key, and most importantly, remember to keep exploring. Peace out, everybody.